Hi, it's Jack. Welcome to my 360 view. I'm here today to sort to all these PCs you can see around you out. Um, so this is a bit of behind the scenes on a lot of stuff that you can do in IT and what to expect. We've got about eight desktops here we need to configure. Um, it's got a server behind the wall here. We need to get off. And we need to get all these workstations off with the office domain. So we need to get the server. It's old, seven years old. We need to get rid of basically. So all these machines can be referred back to normal standard standard PC running Windows 10, just for normal file access and internet access. So straightforward and easy. So come up look at show, I'll show you what, the, what they've got behind this all here. So as you can see they've got a rack cabinet, um, we'll get keys to that. Um, we've got an old server, seven years old, it's a Dell powered server, um, very old. And it keeps um, blue screening so it's dead in the water. We have a new solution we're going to put in place called remote desktops. So all these machines here will fix to a new server back off site, which is not a job site anymore. So we've got two broadband lines here. We've got switches and um, patch panels. This is going to be redundant, this machine here. So it's just going to leave a patching cabinet just empty with switches and pa patch ports to the random room. That's all it's going to be. And the rest of, the rest of this beast is going to be actually held off site in a data center. So they're not going to have literally any physical PCs here to connect to. They'll be remote controlling using an RDC remote desktop connection back to an actual data center IP address that will get them onto their new built server they have now. So this is just a little bit what we're doing today, stripping them all off. So let's have a look at the PCs and see what we need to do. Like you see we've just got a standalone PC, they're not massively high spec. Uh, they're second-hand PCs and uh, they're running Windows uh, 7 on some, Windows 10 on others. And we have a quick spec and see what the... Oh. So as you can see, it's only got a 112 gig hard disk in there. I've got a feeling this is um, maybe an SSD drive. Uh, they're normally this small. Um, Basically, it's a hard drive size. And then we we'll take a look at the RAM, see if the RAM is installed in these PCs. Again, they don't need to be efficiently fast because they're using remote desktop. So all the power they use for their application will come from the server not the desktop itself. So you can see here we've got uh, Windows 7 Professional. Uh, it's, in, it's participating in the domain here, which we're going to take out of the domain as well. I'll we'll show you how to do that uh, on another video though. Uh, <laughs> a bit difficult to do 360 close up to the screen with the flipping going on anyway. So two gigabyte, gigabyte RAM installed, it's perfect to running Windows because all this is going to be literally a boot machine to get it back into Windows. So we can then have you know, a shortcut icon on there that will double click and go straight into their remote desktop. And these PCs, they, do tele they use telephones, but obviously there's no telephone on here, which is not. It's using a, a virtual telephone called Ring Central for Windows, and they have headsets there for microphone, and so they can hear the clients, and they use that as a, as a sort of a web-based version of a phone. Um, so that way they don't need to have phone systems or kit on site. So this is going to be a really simple site to do. So let's get on with this. this. So if you want to carry on seeing what I do here um, and how I go about removing of the, of the domain and just get it tidied up, ready to run RDC, then you'll need to watch my other video which is shot on 4K on my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching guys, so cheers.